Alright guys, in this video, of course, you can see by the title, I want to start talking to you guys about inheritance, a very important concept in computer programming, especially with object-oriented programming. So you're going to be coming across that a lot. So before I even get started talking about computer programming, let's just talk about inheritance in real life. What does it mean? Well, I mean, you can inherit like, um, like specific genes from your parents. So I inherited... Um, my dad's eyes, I inherited my mom's nose, and what that pretty much means is she passed those traits on to me whenever they, you know, made me as a baby. And also, there's another type of inheritance, like when, um, I don't know, like if your grandpa dies and you inherited his land, it pretty much means that he gave his land to you. So inheritance basically means getting something from someone else. That's the most simple definition. So what the heck could it mean in computer programming? Well, let's go ahead and make two classes. We're going to make one class that's a parent, and we're going to make another class that's a child, and I'll show you guys how the child can inherit or get stuff from the parent. So of course, they don't have any land. They don't have eye color. So let's go ahead and make some functions that they can inherit. So what would um, the parent do? Say print last name. So of course this just looks like a normal class right now and my parents last name is the same as mine of course so Roberts. So right now this parent it doesn't have any cool land doesn't have a million dollars to leave me all it has is this lonely old function. So I'm gonna make another class right here and I'm gonna name it child and just like before we can start building functions but check this out if you're wondering why do you have these empty parentheses right here well inside these parentheses what you can pretty much type is the name of a class that you want to inherit from so whenever I typed parent inside here what I'm telling Python is okay look for a parent class get everything inside that class and right now it's pretty boring just one function and pretty much pass it on to your child so right now even though it looks like this child class is empty it actually has in other words it actually just inherited this print last name function so let's go ahead and make one normal function in the child class I'll go um, print first name and this will just be um, it will just be a normal function that belongs to the child and it will just print out my first name which is Bucky. So check this out. Right now it looks like there's one function in parent and one function in child but that's not actually how Python sees it. What Python sees is this one function in parent and since this child inherited everything from the parent it actually has print last name and print first name. Don't believe me? I wouldn't either because I lie about stuff a lot but in this case I am telling the truth. So I'll make a function or excuse me an object called Bucky and it's gonna belong to that child class. Now check this out. If I put Bucky come on you stupid freaking carpal tunnel glove I can do print first name and we already know that because uh, the, the function is right in that class. But did you know I can also do print last name and check this out. I'm going to run it and it's going to print Bucky, which is just a normal function, and also Roberts, which is a function that it inherited from the parent. So that's the basics, the very basics of inheritance. Pretty much saying, okay, what class do you want to get stuff from? So it pretty much doesn't literally do this, but goes to that class, copies everything, and pastes it right in child. Simple enough. You guys understand it? Good. Because now I'm going <laughs> to talk to you guys about something that's a little bit more advanced, a little bit more confusing. So right now we have print last name basically as a child function that it inherited. Now what we can also do is we can also have the option of overriding overriding wow that's a uh, for some reason hard for me to say the child can override that function so what we can do is this def print 
last name and also I'll just like uh, I don't know make this print something called Snitzelberg so I gotta tell you guys a story real quick because I don't have a therapist and I've been meaning to tell someone this for a long time to get it off my chest but basically whenever my parents had me they put Roberts on the birth certificate and uh, that was my last name for a while growing up, Bucky Roberts, Bucky Roberts in high school. However, um, I found out that my mom was actually um, a monkey and I was embarrassed about it. So I ran away from home, I joined the circus, and I changed my last name to Schnitzelberg. So even though I inherited the name Roberts, later on in life I decided to override it to Schnitzelberg. So this is also an option in Python. So check this out. Even though I inherited this function to begin with, I have the option of overriding it. And basically, in order to do that, you create a same function with the same exact name. And what this says is, OK, we're basically going to replace this with whatever you decided to do here. So that is a little story about my life. And that is also how you can inherit something but you have the choice of overriding it or if you don't you can just use the normal function as well so now you guys understand in the next tutorial I'm gonna to talk to you guys about multiple inheritance so we get even more complex but it's actually gonna be uh, pretty cool maybe I'll think of another fake story to tell you guys but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later